But this is amazing to me. I thought I knew this book well. I've taught it in class for 25 years. But this is astonishingly strong because the difference between life and death. You want to be in bondage, then keep the Sabbath. Keep the law in the letter and you're in bondage. You're going to be lost, not saved. Slavery, bondage, it sounds very negative to me. So your friends who are insisting on keeping the Saturday Sabbath and the other holy days and insisting that all forms of uh, food not sanctioned by Leviticus 11 are wrong had better rethink some of this material. I, Paul, say this to you, he repeats it as he did in the first chapter. I'm telling you twice, if you mess the gospel up, curses be on you. I repeat, Paul says, a double curse on you if you get the gospel wrong. He says the same thing here with emphasis by saying it twice over. I, Paul, am telling you here, if you get physically circumcised, Christ will be of no benefit to you. Circumcision is the name of that whole legal system. Circumcision stands for the law, the Torah, the whole thing. It represents. You can't mention the whole list of 513 laws. He's summarizing what they all knew to be the entrance point. And Abraham was circumcised. That takes you back to, to circumcision. But note carefully that Abraham believed the gospel before being circumcised. So the belief in the gospel as Abraham believed it, which is the essence of Christianity, predated even Abraham's circumcision. The other point that Paul makes so strongly in this book is that the law is called a schoolmaster which was temporary. Don't go back under the tutor because that only lasted until the coming of Messiah and what I'm getting from this book is the cross is very, very significant. Well, we know that, but I need to understand that better. The death of Jesus on the cross puts an end to that schoolmaster. The law in the letter is over. And I would argue that Paul is speaking to everybody here. I cannot bring myself to think that Paul means, well, now I'm talking strictly to Gentiles here, not to Jews. That is beyond my imagination. Because he earlier says in, uh, I'll give you the verse, Romans 13, 22, so don't please tell me that Paul, as a Jew, has to keep all of these Torah laws while his Gentile converts don't. <laughs> the social divide that's created when you have some people Sabbath keepers <clears throat> and some people not Sabbath keepers, it's huge. You've got the food laws to worry about. It's a perpetual difference and distinction. And Paul clearly says no distinction. In other places he says, says that circumcision means nothing and uncircumcision means nothing. What counts is obeying God, which is nothing to do with circumcision.